Welcome to Roots and Peaks. Today, we're going to attempt to hike the flume in the winter. I'm here with my cousin Chris. We're starting from Lincoln Woods. This is a really busy trailhead. You can see a lot of people hike here. Um, there's a really flat section of the trail, so you can just come here and have a good time. But this right now is all frozen, so <laughs> that's a little bit sketchy. A lot of open water. February 20th and still this much open water. Cool areas along Lincoln Woods. Definitely make to make sure to stop and see it. And uh, look out for the cones. I don't want to fall off. Getting to the first Y in the road. We're gonna go this way up to Flume and Mount Flume. And if you go that way, you go over to the entrance of Owl's Head and the Bonds, uh, 13 Falls. But today we're gonna go this way. So we came up that, turned around this sort of switchback. Now we're gonna go up, getting into the steep section. We've done maybe, I don't know, a thousand feet of gain and we have another 2,000 feet to go mm -hmm. in, in like a mile or two. What do you think so far? So far it's been really flat and nice and relaxed and even. Um, definitely icy, but really flat and uh, easy to make really good time. Started to snow a little bit earlier than it was supposed to. But at least it's not rain. It was potentially supposed to be rain on the top. Take snow any day. This is kind of a cool little section. It's really steep off to one side. I don't know if you can really tell from this, but it's awesome. We're, we're kind of hiking like <laughs> straight across like a ski run, it feels go. like. Some steep stuff. Yeah, steep stuff. You might be able to tell. This is getting pretty steep. And there's a bunch of these like twisty turny switchbacks which is kind of unusual for the whites. Usually with the whites, you just kind of <laughs> huck it, you go for it. So I'm not sure if this is the actual start of the steps or if some were covered, but here we go on a step. And then uh, I'm sure there's some more up there. See how it goes. So normally those are stairs. It's about 45 degrees. Yeah, maybe even a little bit more. But these are stairs poking out right there. And with the snow, you kind of have to Dig your feet in. I wouldn't try sliding down that. <laughs> Not without some sort of break. Section's really steep. So we got to the end of at least that section of stairs. I don't know if there's more. <laughs> there was only one little section of stairs that we could actually use. Um, most of it was just digging your feet in into the snow. Normally we would have brought snowshoes, but there hasn't been fresh snow in a while. It was pretty packed out, so we decided just to use micro spikes. There are some sections on there where you probably could use uh, crampons. This is a lot more mellow than what we just did, huh? <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah, pretty cool. Come now we're... Down. Yeah, we're going down through a forest now. I think we're gonna meet up with where the flume slide comes in. We've been on the Osseo Trail. And that is not one that I'm willing to do in the winter yet. <laughs> Maybe another time. Taking a little break. And get some snacks. Having some water. Having some crackers. We finished the steep stair section. We've been on this uh, relatively flat section just with a slight incline. And we gotta be getting pretty close. Approaching the, where the Flume Slide Trail and Osseo meets. We continue up this way. If you go this way, which you should basically never go down during the winter, you go to um, the Flume Slide and that's really, really, really steep. Wanna do it a different time, but we're gonna go this way. on that. Yeah, we're well above. And lots of cliff. That is terrifying. 
Yeah. Yep. I've been told that I'm gonna shit myself, so let's see. I mean, that's not something you wanna see, but uh, I've been told this is, this is scary. Yep. That's pretty terrifying. So it's definitely very cool and steep. From some of the videos, I felt like I would be a little bit more scared of the edge like scarier looking at the edge than it is hiking up here because it's a pretty well traveled trail and other than that one section kind of in the middle there it's all you've got stuff beside you Liberty there, then Little Haystack, Lincoln Lafayette. I think that's probably uh, Garfield and Gale Head, those big ones over there. The Twins, then the Bonds. And yeah, beautiful. What a day. We're directly under some storm clouds. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, we just got down off the top of Flume and are about to start the stairs down. What'd you think? It was great, uh, really easy in the beginning and then kind of got gradually more elevation, then way more elevation, then an incredible payoff with the view at the top. Uh, and we got really lucky with the weather too because we got really good clarity. So, yeah, and there, it didn't rain. <laughs> you can see over there the, the twins and the bonds, I think. I believe that's what those are. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. The the um, at the top of the the cliff, it's uh, you've probably seen videos of it before. It's it's all that is cracked up to be. It's really neat. And now we get to go down the stairs. First, uh, I like that it's called the down look, which is hilarious. And then uh, maybe it's called the down look because they tell you you can fall down those stairs. What do you think? Down look. Yeah, I think that's the down look. Yeah, down look. Okay, down look. We'll relabel it. We're finally down past the uh, the steepest section, um, and we're so now we're on a flatter part of the course, on our way back to uh, Lincoln Woods Trail on the Osseo Trail, and I would say this is a winner of a hike. Thumbs up, you think? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna sign off on this one and. See you in the next hike. Enjoy your sled. <laughs>